what else did we put? Oh, I put just this bottom part, this top part on the witch's hat the other day. And then I've done part this top part with hello uh, on the shirt. And I think I used it on one other thing. But so I have cut mine apart. That is a whole one. But I have cut mine apart so that I can uh, show you all this goodness. Hi, Loretta from Arkansas. I love that. I love Arkansas. And Kathy and Danny. And there's Carol and Pam, Cindy, Phyllis. Thanks y'all for hanging out with me. So this is what we're gonna make and it's gonna be so fun. And we're gonna paint, we're gonna paint first. Um, I've already got the pumpkin painted because it's just black. And, uh, let's get that out of my way. And, uh, but I wanted you to see how much fun it is to paint this little round and how easy, how easy. So again, I'm just using some Waverly paint in a pumpkin color. Now, if it doesn't show up as bright, sometimes it doesn't look as bright on my iPad, but this is a pretty cute, pretty good pumpkin color that we've used on other stuff. Let me open it over here because, you know, sometimes this chalk paint has some chalky, chalky stuff. And I'm almost out of this, the yellow, the maize color that we're going to add to it. And hey, Dawn, Terry Simon, how are y'all? But, and Walmart is really low on this kind of stuff. I think everybody's been like super crafting lately. So I've turned this on its side so I can get a little yellow out of it. So on this one, let me hold it back up where you can see it again. On this one, uh, I did orange and then I just added some yellow. So that's what we're gonna do. Because this makes it super fun and it just comes out however. Uh, and that's, that's even more fun. So I'm going to take some orange, and I'm telling you, anybody can paint this way. It is just fun. Fun, y'all. There's like, okay, that looks like enough to start with. We'll probably need some more. But then I'm going to take just a little spatula, and we're going to put some yellow on here. And I may do, I got, I've, I hope I don't run out of my yellow. I'm hoping they get it back in stock. So we're gonna do, let me lean that right there. So we're just gonna let them mix. And you could totally, I also did this with um, red. And you guys know I also usually always paint the edges and totally forgot. Ah! So we'll go back and paint the edges and fix my boo-boo. But look how this just totally, totally paints itself so much fun so i'm gonna have to lift this up a little bit and on the the one that i'm going to use here in just a little bit i painted it in a circle just so you could see the difference and i painted it with orange and some red which gives it even a different color but this one is gonna have of course the orange and the yellow but it is so fun to just let these colors mix on here and I, I think I might have put a little too much paint on. I was afraid I wasn't putting enough, but it really goes a long ways. So let's go ahead and smooth all of this out. And you know, normally I tell you to paint in the direction. This one is an exception on a round. I think you can paint it straight up and down or you can go around in a circle. And that's like I said, that's why I have another one to show you how it looks both ways but look how fun that is you guys i hope you're having fun because <laughs> because i am <laughs> sometimes i think that when i'm going oh look how fun that is i'm like they're not doing it you're having fun and i hope you're enjoying watching is what <laughs> is what i hope uh because i definitely think it's a lot more fun when you guys are hanging out with me than if i'm just sitting here painting now, sometimes when I have to figure things out, it's easier if I'm just sitting here <laughs> because I'm like, I don't know how that's going to work. And then sometimes I just go live with you guys and go, um, I don't know how this is going to work. So let's smooth our paint just a little bit more. I did put on a little bit more than I should have, but it's okay. 
because it'll dry. Okay, so let's see if we can play spin the round here. And I'm gonna do these edges. And y'all know I hate this because I always do the edges first because that doesn't get my top side up here messy. But I totally got all paint happy on you. So let's see. We can get this and then I'll look back at the top. See if I can balance this. It's like a giant pizza. So this is an 18 inch round that we cut and it's a quarter inch birch and I love the birch because it has nice sides on both it's very smooth you can simply uh, once it's sanded you can just lightly sand it with your hand you know hand sanding block and you're good to go so okay we're going to let me see if I've got all these little edges pretty good. So there's our finish. Let me see if you can see it without me getting too much paint. So how quick was that? That was super quick. Hey, Britt. <laughs> Leona, mommy's watching you. That's funny. <laughs> it's love. It's isn't it great when your mom has a sense of humor. <laughs> Ah, shoot. Okay, so there's our there's our round. I'm going to set it aside over here. And hopefully I won't, like, knock it off or anything until it dries. Let me balance it right over there. Let's get this paint out of the way. As y'all know, I'm a little messy girl. Even when my mom's watching, I'm a messy girl. <laughs> Let me chunk those over there. There's seriously a, a pan of water over here that I always chunk this stuff in. <laughs> I'm not just like throwing it anywhere. Uh, even though that's what it looks like, probably. Okay, let's see if we can get all that over there and out of my road. And what am I going to do with this little brush? Because I might need it to finish something else. So let's put it, let's see if it'll stand up right over there. Okay. Let me wipe off my fingers and wipe up that yellow paint. Okay, we are on it again. Okay, everything's everything's good. So here is the one that I painted. And you'll notice I put a little tag up here that says top because I've already drilled my holes. So this one you can tell goes around in a swirl. And, hi Amanda, is it Amita? Beautiful name, okay. So this one is ready, I've got holes in it, so I need to make sure that stays at the top because I am famous for, if there's a back hook on it, it usually ends up upside down. So we're trying to not let that happen. <laughs> uh, so through the magic of TV, it's all painted. So can you tell the difference in the, that this one kind of has a circle? I kind of like this because it is a moon. Um, so I kind of like the idea of it being in a circle. So we'll see when we get it finished how it turns out. And since the pumpkin is just a black pumpkin, I've already done it and uh, got it all ready. And we need to shade this one really quickly. So, let's find, we need just a little bit of black, and we're going to just go around the edges. And if you watched last night, you saw this, and it seriously takes a very, very small amount of paint. And so, we drag most of that back off, and so you just use your brush, let me see if I can balance this on the table, just use your brush to drag that edge and you can do a little you know a little more I like to do a little at a time so that I um, don't get more on there than I want so you guys be thinking too if you want it I'm still thinking about doing that virtual workshop and deciding on what to do so if you have any thoughts or ideas on what would be a fun workshop I'll get all the products to you and then we can create in person or you can just 
follow along with the video, whatever you want. So, we just want a little black around here because I just think that makes a lot of difference. I think it pulls it all together like we were talking about last night. But see how fast and easy? Super easy. And just anybody can do it. Trust me. So that is very dry, so that will dry quickly. And the other thing that I've already done, as you guys know, we usually put just a little bit of our, uh, just a little bit of the surface wax on. That just keeps our transfers nice and keeps them stick, sticking nicely without sticking too much when they're new. Now, since I've used this transfer a bunch, it's not super new. Uh, so it would probably have been fine, but it just makes it nicer. So, is it raining where you are tonight? Hurricane Laura, great name by the way for a hurricane, <laughs> is giving us rain here. So, but we needed it. We needed some rain. Now, I don't know how much we're going to get, like if we're going to need as much as we're going to get, but we're going to get it anyway. So, you know. But anyway, is it raining where you're at? I know it's raining. Well, it's been raining. I don't even know if it is right now. Okay. So, here are our components that I have cut apart. So, we can actually do like the pumpkin and move it aside. And so, I'm going to kind of just lay these out. And where you can kind of see, I don't really have any place to put this where you can kind of see it, but you can see when the witches go riding is at the top and then the black cats and then the Halloween. So let's do this. Let's just peel these off because they have that nice sticky back. Anybody can do this and make them just look nifty. And so we're going to put that about right there, but we may move it. So I'm not going to press it down yet because I'm going to decide where all this is going to go. Uh, because I've only done this once. <laughs> so next we need black cats. And you guys, if you haven't seen these, they have silk screens in there. That's how we get all this. Oops, that round's about to come crashing at me. Uh, that's how we get all this great detail. And all the little, where it looks like there's kind of weathered and... Um, just kind of fun fonts then I don't even have to do that I love that it's just all done for me hi Kathy Megan yeah we needed rain here too so so much let's see I don't want to get that too high because I want to have room for my bow and and this time, you know, I glued the other pumpkin on, but I think I'm gonna Velcro this on because we ship these in our Etsy store. And I think it would be nice and it'd be easier to ship and it would be easier on the customer to store it if I just Velcro this on because I just, I usually use like the industrial strength um, Velcro and it works great for our welcome signs and everything. So I'm thinking I might do that and that way it can be easier to ship and easier for them to store because it won't take up as much space, if that makes sense. Did I get all this little cat on there? I think I did. So we're gonna put him there. I'm gonna keep moving that pumpkin to where I can see where it's gonna fit or not. I keep looking down at my... We're just gonna kind of lay this all out and then I'll do different parts. Make sure it's all gonna work on there. I know it will because it did, but I still have to get it in the right, the right order. I think my witches, let me see. When witches, I think that's going to need to go just a tad higher than I have it laid out. So it's kind of neat to have an example down there so I can actually see what I'm doing um, while I do this. <laughs> Okay, so I think that will go like that. The pumpkin will go there. Black and black cats are seen. Can go right over here. And that's uh, my top. And here in just a second, I'm going to hold this up so you can see it and I can see it. Uh, not raining here, but we do need it. 
So where is here? Because I'm curious. So where did I get the round board? I cut these out and um, but you can also get them in on our Etsy shop, which is DIY wood cutouts. So you can find the pumpkins there. I'm not sure if you can find these pumpkins yet. Sometimes um, things don't get in there as fast because it's really not my shop. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a. Um, shop that uses my stuff but it's not necessarily my shop so but i get to do what i want you know i like that okay so yeah but it's diy wood cutouts on etsy and you can find a lot of neat cutouts in there okay let's see i think about have that where i want it let me make sure that cat fits there i'm gonna have to hold this up so i can take a peek so Woo, my witch's bat fell off. Because I hadn't pressed any of this down yet. Uh, okay, I think we're ready to press it all down. I do believe. Okay, so. Don't forget, you guys. Um, if you're not a designer, to share. Because I'm going to do a drawing each week of all the shares, so if you watch several times, you'll get several times in there. Kathy Gooch won last our share on Monday, and I just popped that in the mail to her today, and I told her I would tell her that. So Kathy, if you're watching, I popped that in the mail to you today. <laughs> and So when you get close to an edge here, and if you don't want to get stuff on uh, paste onto your surface, and you're really messy like I am, you can take that off a little bit. So I'm gonna put just a little bit of tape there just to protect me from going where I don't wanna go. Uh, the paste is water soluble, so it will wash off, but sometimes it can also stain. So I would just rather not be that messy and have to wash it off. But that's a, another thing that the surface wax does. Uh, a little wax a lot of times will keep that from happening, keep it from where you, it's where you can still wipe it off. Okay, so let's see what I did on this one because I really liked how this one turned out. So I did black and purple. Now I used a shimmer purple that is not available, so I'm just gonna use a regular purple on this. And um, and then just black and oh, I did use a little bit of, I can't remember what color that is. I'll have to look and see on the moon. Oh, Solemn Springs, okay, good. I have family in Solemn Springs. So, let's do some black. We did the witch in purple, and we did the top part of witches and the top part of cats in purple. And the rest was all black. So, we're just going to press this down nicely. Nicely, nicely. And give our paste a little stir here and see if it... Because like I've told you, so many of the pastes are different. Some are chunkier than others, and some are smoother than others. This one seems to be just good tonight. I gave it a little stir a while ago. So, you're going to put on more than you need, because you can take it back off. So, let me make sure I've got this all pretty straight. And I'm going to just move this over out of the way for just a minute, because I'm not going to work on it. So, I'm going to do... After I have the black out, I'm actually thinking about doing the purple first. So let's lay that right there for just the jiffy. Because, you know, a girl can change her mind. I'm always changing mine. <laughs> now, the purple even looks a little chunkier. So I'm going to give it just a little spritz of water. And a little quick stir here. Just to make sure it's not too dry. You want it to be pretty, you know, it's, it's a thicker product. Which is why it doesn't seep under through the screens. But you don't want it to be you know, where you can't spread it, kind of thing. Okay, so let's do our witches and then the top part of the word witches. Okay, let's do our witch first. So I'm just gonna swipe that on. And you wanna do this before you before it dries, you wanna take this off, uh, meaning you want to remove the transfer. So I'm going to do this one 
and then I'm going to actually pull this transfer up and lay it back down. That way, my paste is not drying in my screens. It's going to dry where I want it to. So I'm just going to lift that up, lift my tape up over here, and you can see our witch looks so pretty. I love her. The details that silk screens give you are just crazy good. So we're going to lay that back down. And the only part I'm not going to press down is I'm not going to press the witch back down. But I'm going to press down all my lettering and everything that I haven't done. Because I don't want that to seep under. I want it to stay nice. But I'm not going to press that little witch down because she is done. So we're going to go ahead and do the top part. I like to wait and do the very thin lettering at at last because the thin lettering just doesn't have very much there and it will dry quickly and it can potentially uh, dry before you get the screen off of it the silk screen and the and the transfer so okay so we're gonna just put a little bit of this purple along the top and don't forget you can totally mix your colors I mean even like on a plate I can pull some if I decided I wanted a different shade of purple and I wanted to add a little white paste to it. Just pull out a little scoop onto whatever it is, you know, a plate or, or a little um, anything you want to put it on. And you can totally mix your colors, mix up what you want. But you can also just kind of let them mix on here like I'm doing with this. I'm just going to let the purple and the black mix together. And you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and do this real quick. And see if I can get this done before my other dries if I'm fast. Now inks, you do not have to be this fast. But let's see if we are fast enough. <laughs> I'm going to just swipe right across there. And I think my purple is drying. So I need to get this off quickly, quickly, quickly. Let's see if we, if we did. Ah, yes. Yeah, super, super, super. Okay, so I'm going to just pull this off. This is just water cleanup. You can just run it under your faucet, and then we have a great little um, board eraser, it's called, and it looks, it's just similar to uh, Mr. Clean. So, but it's specifically made for us, and so I can get my transfer all nice and clean with it. And sometimes the color stain, but that's, that's totally, totally fine, totally normal. Okay, so let me wipe my fingertips off over here right quick. And I'm going to just lay that transfer. I'm just going to rinse it in water and lay it down here, and I'll finish washing it out in a little bit. Okay, so now let's do our black cats. And we're going to put just a little bit of this purple on the word cats. So let's do that first. And then we'll do everything else in black. And we'll peel that off. So I'm going to leave a little extra purple on there and hoping that keeps everything just like I want it until I get it pulled off of here. So working quickly is key, but if you decide, whoops, I went off, so we'll have to wipe that off. Uh, if you decide though that, um, you want to work, you know, that you can't work quite as quick as you want to, you can just do a part at a time and lay it back down. I'm just gonna scooch my black up into my purple right there. And then I'll come back and take a little bit of that purple back off and peel. And peel and peel. Ah, so cute. Man, those are just so easy and they just, make me happy to do so quickly. Okay, wiping my fingers. Where is everybody else from? I see we have Salem Springs in the house, which I love. I have a very sweet niece there and some great nieces and also a sister who lives there. Okay, so our cat and our scene was just straight black. So let's cover this purple up and you want to always just kind of Put your paste back down inside the jar so that it stays nice and fresh as long as you can because it goes a long ways. So we're just going to close those back up 
And you can reuse, if you haven't seen, you can reuse the transfers about a dozen times or so. And what happens uh, to where it limits the time is the stickiness starts to get less sticky. So let's do this little cat. The details are amazing in these. Um, Eric is, and I can't think of his last name, but he is one of the designers, the head designer at Chalk Couture. And we got to meet him when we went there in Utah uh, for a retreat. And he is so nice and has the best designs. I just love them. And him and his team. And they were so sweet to us and explained and showed us everything. Now, anywhere that I'm being messy, I'm going to come back and just take that off here in just a minute with a little Q-tip or a cloth, a damp cloth. So, I'm not... I'm not stressing about those. I'm pulling these other, whoops, I just touched that. It's gonna be under there, so it totally is okay. Uh, I am just laying these down here though, so that I can rinse those off totally in a little bit. Let me get my hands dry here. Okay, so let me turn this around where you can see it. And this one looks like it's almost dry. I thought I had a Q-tip here handy, but I do not see one. Oh, there's one. So, let me just touch those little dots. And I have another couple little dots over here. And they really do clean up pretty, pretty easily. That one's going to need just a little bit more water, I think. Okay. So, now... Let me turn this around where you can see it so far. So that's what we have so far. Oh, Lisa, you're in Canada. We love our Canadian friends. So there's what we have so far on it, and it's taking shape nicely, I think. So I'm gonna set this apart, 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 not apart, aside. <laughs> And we're going to let it dry, and we're going to just do this one. So I need to get some orange over here, and I don't need this black, and I do need some white. So I didn't get my white out or orange. Hmm. Okay, let me let me wipe stuff off of here real quick. Okay, I got a little turntable over here where my paste is. So let's see if I can spin that to some white. That is not white that is unicorn i think is that color that we got at a convention uh okay there's a white and i think i think that bumblebee oh no that's marigold i can't remember if i use marigold or bumblebee uh i don't even know if marigold is still around i have a lot of different paste colors because i've been doing this for a while so i don't always know exactly what colors i've used But I think I did use Marigold, but we're going to use Bumblebee because I'm not sure Marigold is still available. And I don't want to use something that's not available. Okay. So, let's see. Let me grab a drink. So, I did the moon. Let's hold this up where you can see. I did the moon. And I believe, like I said, Marigold. And I also did like one little star over here, apparently. And then all the rest in white. So, that'll be quick and easy fast fast and then we'll put it all together so okay let's peel off our backing and this was the weirdest thing because I didn't cut this pumpkin you guys have heard me say this before I didn't cut this pumpkin for the size of this but I was like that pumpkin is perfect. Whoops, let me scoot that over. My H was going off. But it was the perfect size. Uh, let me see what size it is. Because I need, we need to, these need to go in the Etsy shop. So that if you, it's 13 inches across. And a well over 11 inches, 11 inches tall. So I like these little fat chunky pumpkins. 
Um, it's the same pattern that I used for the one you can see behind me, the Welcome to the Porch. And I just shrunk it down. So we're going to just press it down nicely. And let's see. Let's give our white a stir and see what the white is feeling like tonight. The white is also one that's usually pretty thick. Um, I don't think I've ever opened a jar of white that was too thin. So let's give it just a little spritz. This is just water. Nothing fancy in that little jar. Oh, let's see. Okay, I believe that looks pretty good. Let's check on our bumblebee here. It looks like it could use a spritz of water. You guys, these pastes just last so long. Uh, and like I say, even better if you're using them. If you just let them set, they seem to dry up quicker. Uh, but if you're regularly using them, stirring them, adding just a little spritz of water, they seem to just go and go. So, and it takes such a dab. So let's do our yellow first, and then we'll peel that off and lay it back down. So let me grab a couple little squeegees here. So it will really just take, that's probably like a ton too much. So I'm gonna try to not get anywhere I shouldn't. So let me put some of this paste back. I don't, I like to use extra because it smooths around easy, but I don't wanna also get it where I don't want it to be. And I should probably get my little multi-tool here because it is great for small areas. So I'll pull it out here when we do the white. But you can see through the screen, so you can tell if you have everything covered. And then I take back off the extra. Let's just peel that up so that dries without staying in the silk screens. And that is the cutest little moon. That little moon would be good on other things. I'm gonna to have to keep that in mind when I'm creating something else. Because I do like, now this is, like I was saying, it's totally one transfer. But y'all know, if you've watched me, I love to mix transfers too. So, but I like to do some that are just one complete project. And that is all the yellow. So let's put our yellow back in there. And put the squeegee in the water. My little mysterious pan over here. It's actually a cat litter pan, which works perfectly. Uh, it's a great size. So if you guys are in um, Northwest Arkansas, I'm going to be demonstrating this and having a lot of products with me for Vintage Market Days, uh, which is the first full weekend of October. And then the following weekend, I'm going to be uh, at the Washington County Fair and um, that is Thursday, Friday, and Saturday the next weekend. Uh, so come see me. Come hang out. I'm always demoing. Uh, sometimes we're super busy at the fair, and if I'm the only one there, I don't get to demo as much as I'd like to. But I'm going to start at the bottom of this because that's where my largest stuff is. But guys, so fast to do this across there, just swiping. Now i got to watch my yellow. But anyway, I'm going to be in northwest Arkansas. So I think, um, I'm not sure of the location where Vintage Market Days, but that's on Facebook, and you can definitely look that up. But I do know that the other show I'm at, Northwest Arkansas Craft Show, I think is what it's called. It's War Eagle Weekend. Even though War Eagle's canceled, we are not. So they are setting up a lot of other safety things. So, and I've done two or three shows, so wear a mask and all that stuff. Oops, I got a little yellow across there. I picked it up. Okay, so let's get this off because that will start drying. So anyway, come see me in Northwest Arkansas if you're up there. I love Northwest Arkansas. It's one of my very, very favorite places. I used to go up there a lot when my son did his master's and doctorate work there at U of, um, U of A. So, okay. Wipe my little fingers. And I'll hold this up where you can see it. 
And don't forget to let me know if you shared it tonight so I can add you to my list. Well, there's Kim. This is my favorite. This is one of my favorites, too. And there's Lupita. So, what do you think? It's just got the best fonts, doesn't it? I mean, I love these. I'm waiting for some more of these transfers to come in because I only have one to sell at the moment and they're out online. But I wanted to show this before, whoops, I forgot to clean my edges. I wanted to show this before I totally uh, moved on from fall and Halloween stuff. And I'm not gonna totally, cause I love some fall and Halloween stuff and I still have like pumpkins and things I wanna do. But I, I am also anxious to do a few Christmas things. So we will be moving, moving along each night. Now tomorrow night, I'm not sure I'll be on here because I may do some things with my honey before he goes back to work. Okay, let's see how this comes about, ladies and gents. So, I think last time I put it right over the top of that little star down there and moved it down just a tiny bit. So, something like this, but I'm not going to glue it on, of course. So, what do you think? I think she's done except we'll need a wire which i have and a bow thank you i like i'm glad you like it i do too so but these transfers you guys oh they just make me so happy so i have this is the bow that i have on the other one and i really like it because it has that touch of purple but I'm thinking about, and I did just some regular greenery, but I'm thinking about, whoops, don't get on there, a little bit of this purple greenery in here. So let's see what it looks like. And then, you know, I'll do my finish out thing later. I wish I had some darker purple flowers. I have some that are darker, but they are really big, and I think they're too big for the bow. Even though, you know, Southern girls, we like a good bow. But I think they're, they're still too big. These smaller ones are much more appropriate. So, and you don't have to put greenery in. I just like to from time to time. Uh, and then sometimes I just go, oh, I don't like that, and I take it out. So, that is kind of, I don't have that bow all twisted where I want. But that's kind of what I'm thinking. And bend those flowers down a little bit, make them go where I want them to go. And so, that would... That would go right about up there. What do you think? Can you see from where I'm at? So, oh, thank y'all. Thank you, thank you. So, I will study it as I do, but I do like the bow. And I'll show you the finished one of this one again so you can kind of see. And so I did use a different color moon on this one, but I do like the yellow as well. So you can kind of see the difference in the two. I know that one's laying down, but I think you can still see it on the screen, okay? So you can kind of compare. Um, so this one's just a little bit different, and I think that was probably the marigold color. So, anyway, if you want to know any more, just let me know. I have lots of lots of things to tell you. <laughs> no, seriously. Uh, if you want to uh, know more about chalk, simply drop me a message, and I'll be happy to share everything I know. Um, about it to you and thank you guys so much for watching I'm going to head home and hang out with my hen and leave all this till tomorrow so have a good night thanks for hanging out with me don't forget if you have any questions drop me a message anytime and I'll gladly answer you see you later bye y'all